it time to turn, I felt it. And I felt my bag moving under my seat. I'm going to see if I'm And I feel like my seats aren't, my seats aren't wide enough. So, and the, they don't go back far enough for me. They don't recline far enough for me. So, I mean, I'm not in pain or anything, but I just didn't get that much sleep. But I got tired since I got on the bus, which was like 7 p.m. So, it should be interesting. The nap that I'm going to take once we get to the hotel is going to be real. guys, I'm finally at the hotel. It's probably on its way to 6 o'clock right now. <sighs> that was a very long bus ride. The bus actually ended up coming later than it was supposed to. We were supposed to get there at 4.45 a.m. We got here at like 5.15ish. But the hotel is not far from the bus terminal. So that's a plus. I'm about to take a nap then wake up for breakfast so I'll talk to you guys later. Sorry guys, does this look like a king size bed to you? Or a full size bed? I know I'm not bugging. This is a king size bed. Big point. Yes, so it's so, so weird. I don't know how people vlog. It's so weird to vlog. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's 10.50ish right now. Almost 11 o'clock. Same day as earlier when we got in around 5. Uh, we just napped and woke up, showered, you know, had some breakfast. We have free continental breakfast at our hotel. Um, and it was okay. I mean, can't complain. So we're going to head out soon and just explore. Our hotel is in the heart of downtown Toronto, so it works out perfectly. We can just walk around, which is perfect because ain't nobody got time to pay for a taxi. Because I taxi driver last night. Like he thought he was so slick. Um, the hotel was literally five minutes away from our uh, where the bus lets out, the bus terminal. And instead of him going straight where his GPS told him to go, one, he didn't um, enter the address of the hotel into the GPS right away. He um, first drove around a little bit. Then he enters it into the GPS and doesn't even listen to the GPS. So like our fare came out to like eleven dollars but it could have been probably eight at most he just drove around a little bit just to make some money which was really irritating but it was so late slash early that he wouldn't like voice anything it was just like whatever but yeah so we're gonna walk around and not trust the cab driver right here um yeah so if there's anything interesting to show you guys i will see you guys later You just say, oh, so like, um, we're just curious, like, what's going on? Like, what, what's going on? Get out of here, you. They just turn away and say. I, oh, <laughs> the worst thing would be, you go all the way over there, you're talking directly to them, and they say nothing. Heavy, oh, they, you better play it off. You know, like, who's that? What is the guy with the glasses? He's kind of cool. Sit on his lap. So we stumbled upon this place. Do they even know what it is? I think it's called Dundas or Yagi Square. I don't know. But there's a bunch of things for us to check out, so we're gonna check those out. We've been walking for a while now. Yeah, a while guys. now. A while now. 
Hey Johnny Rockets. Inglot makeups. It's a corn? They almost say you want to volunteer. No, I can't. Something's going on here and I see an Inglot store. Daddy, say, take better care of me. I'm sorry, you guys ready? Okay. Like I said, what are you going to do? Just come this way. Okay. Here we go. We got to get the six minutes because it's retarded. We don't have to start it when the show begins. So, wait. So, I have no hands. I'm going to start the chainsaw. One of the things, though, is I'm going to invite my girlfriend to the show. It's not very often I get to work in Toronto. So, give a big clap to my girlfriend. She's going to be our DJ. Children, what are the words we're not supposed to say? 